Welcome to Science at FMNH, a podcast and video series that explores the behind-the-scenes science, collections, and research at Chicago's Field Museum. In this video, we explore the Emerging Pathogens Project, a unique research program to understand the evolution of parasites and pathogens that result in diseases such as malaria and AIDS. This project will provide a database of pathogens which can lead to important insights for how humans can combat emerging epidemics. Biodiversity is just a sum of all the life forms that have ever lived on Earth, past and present. An understanding of natural history. And biodiversity is really critical for understanding and sustaining human health and curing diseases. My name is Shannon Hackett and I'm the Associate Curator of Birds at the Field Museum. We're creating the Emerging Pathogens Project. This baseline database of the birds and small mammals and the things that live in them and on them. To treat the organism itself as a biodiversity survey, as an ecosystem to be fully explored. So most people, when they go out in nature and they are doing biodiversity, they're counting all the plants and animals and other life that lives in a particular ecosystem, a habitat. And what we're doing is treating the actual animal itself as an ecosystem and trying to do an in-depth biodiversity survey of that organism with an eye to having these specimens and these data contribute to an understanding of any emerging threats to human health. We need to understand what biodiversity is, we need to know what's there in order to preserve it and in order for, frankly, for humans to be able to use these specimens to their own benefits. So Malawi is a country in Africa. Malawi is the place that we've done a couple of field seasons, and there are actually people in the field right now collecting material for this project. My name is Holly Lutz and I'm a research assistant on the Emerging Pathogens Project here at the Field Museum. It's a project that's a joint collaboration between the mammal and bird divisions and I primarily work with birds and avian pathogens. We were trying to do something that really hasn't been done before and that is the sort of broad sampling of the whole body. Collecting tissue samples, endoparasites, ectoparasites, blood, We have a huge list of equipment and supplies that we need to buy. We go with a lot of gear. It's, it's not light traveling. My name is Jason Weckstein. I'm a staff scientist here at the Field Museum. Basically what I do is research and also training of students. So in the field, you know, we have a certain amount of time that we're out there for, so we want to make every day count. And that basically means no days off, no breaks. Um, we also have to be active when the birds are active if we want to collect them. A typical day involves waking up really early as we open up nets. that are basically invisible to birds, so they fly into them and get caught. Another group of people are out collecting with shotguns. Because there are plenty of birds you're just never going to get in the nets, uh, large birds, um, waterfowl a lot of the time. In the actual camp setting, what's happening is birds are coming in and we start processing them for parasites. We first take blood samples and we take a bunch of standard measurements, so we wave the bird. We also describe all the soft parts, like the bill and the feet and the eyes of the bird, and then we euthanize the bird. And then we start sampling it for other things. Ectoparasites like lice or ticks or mites that might be crawling around. Uh, we also swab the birds in their, their mouths. We're swabbing those for viruses and bacteria. And then we begin skinning the bird. We're taking muscle tissue, liver tissue. We've collected stomachs for the contents. We're actually freezing whole guts to actually look at some of these bacterial or viral communities inside of them. At that point, pretty much you're done processing the specimen. You've pretty much taken it apart in the field. One of the strengths of an institution in a place like this is that we're really good at doing biodiversity surveys, for example. So we go out, we can go out there and identify all the birds in a given region, collect important samples to do phylogenetics and population genetics and 
understand the evolutionary history and diversity of organisms in a given place. Well, we've sort of stepped that expertise up one level and we're adding a really extremely diverse group of organisms that are found on those organisms. So, and that's, that's the parasite and pathogen side of things. We're starting to understand what role changes to biodiversity play in the progression of things that are important for human health, whether that's biodiversity's role in coming up with cures for human ailments. So we're trying to collect specimens in a way that not just us, but the scientific community and medical community at large use these specimens as baseline from which to assess emerging threats to human health or to environmental health. There's so many different kinds of organisms and so much different expertise that can play a role in this that we are just trying to collect in the best way we know how everything that we can to maximize its potential use.